this video, we overview the MSP360 Remote Monitoring and Management Solution. The MSP360 Remote Monitoring and Management Solution works on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux devices. Here's a short overview of the features our solution provides for Windows devices. System Resource Monitoring and Performance Overview Patch Management Windows Update Policy Alerting and Reporting SNMP Monitoring Web-based Remote Access to Windows Devices Software Deployment PowerShell Scripting Group Actions Antivirus Management To start using the solution, you need to install the agent on the target computer. To do this, go to the Downloads tab. Here, you can download the RMM agent, copy the link to send it to the required user, or copy the PowerShell installation script. The agent should then be installed on the target computer. Following this, you will be able to see the computer on the Computers page, Remote Management tab. Alternatively, you can install the MSP360 Remote Management solution on all computers. To do this, go to the Computers page. In the upper right corner, find the Group Actions button. Click it and select Install RMM on Computers option. After you have installed the MSP360 Remote Management Solution on the target computer, you will see it on the Computers page, RMM tab. This tab shows you general information, such as computer name, disk, CPU, and memory usage and warns you if you have any available updates for your operating system or antivirus, or event log issues. To manage a specific computer, click on the diagram button in the right corner of the RMM section, or any of the status bars. You will then see a slide-in tab. The right-hand part of the tab shows information and allows you to manage the solution. On the left, you can select the required section of the tab. Additionally, you can click the arrow button in the upper right corner of some of the tabs in order to open a modal window with more detailed information about that specific tab. The General tab provides an easy way to monitor key sensors for the health and performance of the target computer, such as disk space, CPU and RAM usage, updates, and other information. Here you can also connect to a computer, execute PowerShell scripting, discover SNMP devices, turn on or restart a computer remotely using Wake on LAN and Reboot buttons or copy a direct link to that tab for your tech engineer. Please note that Wake on LAN requires at least one online computer on the same subnet, and Wake on LAN must be enabled on the device you want to wake up. You can temporarily disable monitoring if you want to stop receiving alerts from the target computer, such as during maintenance. The next tab, Computer Info, provides you with details about the target computer, including the operating system and the name of the computer. Here you will also find details such as the last logged in user, the type of platform, the model, and the serial number. The next tab, Task Manager, allows you to monitor the computer's performance, processes, and services in real time. The Installed Software tab is pretty self-explanatory. To uninstall a specific application remotely, select the required software from the list and click the X button. Patch Management allows you to install OS updates on your user's machines and check the updates that have already been installed. The next tab shows you the installed hardware and its status. On the HDD SSD Info tab, you can see the hard drive details for the given user. Printers. Here you can see the status and information about all the printers connected to that computer. On the Antivirus tab, you can check the status of the antivirus installed on the machine and also update its databases. To do this, click on the checkbox near the required antivirus followed by the Update Database button. Event Log shows the event statistics on applications, hardware, security, and system for the current day. If an issue is detected, it will be shown on a pie chart. Turn on the table view in the upper right corner of the tab to check the detailed info on events. Hyper-V Manager. Here you can start, turn off, or restart your Hyper-V virtual machines. If you open the modal window, you will also see detailed information about them. On the next tab, PowerShell, you can execute a script from the script library, from file or open PowerShell terminal. Bear in mind that this option is only available if you have enabled two-factor authentication. To do this, go to the Settings tab, General section, and enable 2FA. Once this is done, you will be able to write, 
upload and execute PowerShell scripts on the given machine. The last tab, Registry Editor, allows you to view and manage registry entries within a user's machine. With RMM, you can monitor your network environment, including devices working on SNMP protocols. The following SNMP protocol versions are supported. SNMP v1, SNMP v2, SNMP v3. Click the SNMP button on the RMM side panel of the machine on which you want to discover the devices to begin the SNMP discovery process. You can connect to a remote computer using a desktop app or establish a remote connection via a browser without having to install the MSP360 Connect app on the computer from which you need to connect. Simply click the Connect icon next to the required computer and choose the preferred method of connection. You can perform some actions on multiple computers in bulk. To do this, open the RMM Group Actions Wizard on the RMM Computers page, select the Operating System, and then choose an action. The following actions are available for Windows devices. PowerShell script execution. Install software. Uninstall software. Install Windows updates. Windows update policy, new. For Mac OS and Linux devices, only bash script execution is currently available. Let's take the Windows update policy as an example. The next step is to select the computers to apply the action to. The following options are available. Apply to all computers. Apply to all computers in selected companies. Apply to selected computers only. There is also an additional option to exclude computers from the selection. Click on it if you don't want the action to be applied to some computers. Once you have selected the action and computers companies to apply the action to, you can configure the action. For example, you can select update levels, their categories, and more. In the next step, Choose whether you want to run the action once or set a schedule for it. If you select the Once option, the actions will run on all computers that are currently online. On other computers, the action will be performed as soon as they are online. The last step is two-factor authentication. As soon as you enter the code, an action will be created and the summary will appear. You can check the status of all scheduled tasks on Group Action Tasks page and edit them if necessary. You can also set up alerts for all companies or for a specific company in the Settings tab, Notifications section. MSP360 RMM service features the following alert types. CPU and memory usage, used disk space, Windows updates, antivirus issues, incorrect system time, lost connection with server, smart issues, CPU critical temperature, and software hardware changes. Not all alerts are available for Mac OS and Linux devices. Some are only available for Windows computers. Clicking the Customize Notification Option button takes you to a page where you can configure your notification options and set advanced predefined alerts. On this page, you can define your own thresholds for generating alerts, exclude certain software and hardware from alerts, monitor disk space only where it's crucial, get notified when connections to endpoints are restored, Set alerts for the SNMP devices. All alerts are saved on the RMM Alert History page, RMM tab. With scheduled reports on the Reporting tab, you can configure and schedule automated reports to be distributed to specific email addresses. Each report can be exported in CSV format as well. Currently, the following reports are available. Computer Inventory Report. The Computer Inventory Report makes it possible to take inventory of the computers of the selected company and represent this information in HTML and CSV formats for further processing. It provides such information as platform type, computer manufacturer, processor and memory information, operating system, language settings, and time zone. Software Inventory Report the Software Inventory Report enables you to collect information about all the software installed on the specified computers and get it in a structured way, in either HTML or CSV format. Software Details Report The Software Details Report contains a detailed list of the software installed on the computers of the selected company. 
Available or Installed Windows Updates Reports. In the latest release, we've added two new reports that provide information about both available and installed Windows updates. That's it. If you have any questions regarding the MSP360 Remote Monitoring and Management Solution, feel free to contact our pre-sales team.